are you looking for lenses on the budget that will cost you under or around $100 for your church live streaming and recordings? If yes, then stick around because this video is for you. What's up guys, my name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools and today I'll be talking about some of the cheapest lenses um, that you can use actually for your church live streaming and recordings that will cost you around $100 or even less. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Lumix camera batteries simply because that's what I own and that's what I have, okay? I have many of them. So if you're using um, those kind of cameras, then it would be great because the lenses I'll be talking about and the adapters that I've been using to adapt some of them will actually uh, be matching with what you have. But if you don't have Panasonic cameras or Lumix cameras, don't worry because the same concept applies to any brand, okay? So when it comes to purchasing lenses, two things I need to know if you are a beginner. The first thing, you need to know the mount of your camera body, okay? So what I mean is if you're using, for example, I'm using, um, I've been using the Lumix G7, uh, this has a micro four third mount, okay, with the two times crop factor. So the second thing that you need to consider is the field of view or uh, the focal length. Basically, the focal length of the lens will give you the field of view that you want. For example, I'm using a 25, uh, 25mm lens on this camera right now shooting this video and you can see I'm more like, you know, in a portrait style, okay? It's not a wide angle. So you need to know if you are buying a lens, are you buying it for, you know, portrait or you're buying it for wide? Wide would be more like, okay, you see my head, my legs, everything and a little bit of the room where I'm standing so or I'm sitting. So basically, those are two main things that you have to kind of look into before you buy a lens. So now let's go to our lens number one, okay? So the first lens that I got here that I kind of recommend because I've been testing it actually. I have it. I think it's been over a month now. I actually bought this Canon FD lens uh, from eBay and it cost me around $100, is one of the most expensive ones. So this FD Canon lens uh, obviously is used. So most of these lenses are like, you know, years old, so 20 or, or over 20 years old. I tried it myself. And um, one of the things that you notice is it's gonna come in FD mount. So it's another mount that uh, they were using back in the day and you're gonna need to adapt it. So I bought an adapter from Amazon that cost me around 10 or $15. Uh, basically, it's, um, it's a dummy adapter that will just um, help me to connect it to my Lumix G7 or any Lumix camera. And it turns it into actually uh, a 100 mm lens because this is a full frame lens okay if i wanted to i could attach it to um a speed booster uh which will you know kind of reduce uh the focal length to probably you know something around 65 67 mm lens i've been using this lens i have tried it outside in my studio in fact i'm gonna be showing you some of the videos that i've taken with it uh, I've also actually taken it to my church as well and um, recorded sermon with it and I want you guys to see the image um, that I have taken with this lens uh, what it looks like and tell me if you like the image. So my second recommendation would be uh, investing in small manual lenses like this one, okay? Um, this is a Mikey um, lens that cost me around $100. I think uh, actually cheaper than that. I uh, paid around $80 on Amazon, okay? This is a brand new lens. It's not a vintage lens. Um, and the good thing about this lens, it performs well uh, in low light. And I think it's available in different mounts. This one is a um, micro-photoed mount 
but I believe you can find one for Sony uh, mirrorless cameras uh, as well as Canon mirrorless. This is actually a 35 mm lens with a maximum aperture of 1.4. Okay, I will also show you some of the footage that I took with this lens, but I've been loving this lens. Uh, it's so smooth. Uh, the focus ring is so smooth. Everything about this lens is really, um, there's nothing wrong about this lens. Like to be honest, um, for the price, of course, you know, I would say uh, the focus ring is, is kind of sometimes tends to be too smooth. But again, I don't complain for $80. dollars for $80, I'm getting a beautiful image out of this small lens, okay? I've been using it, uh, filming stuff. By the way, I'm using a 25 mm lens to film this video right now of the same brand, exactly the same thing, but it's a 25 mm lens uh, with a maximum aperture uh, of 1.8. Um, and that's exactly what I'm using to film this video. But I've been using these two lenses actually to film our church sermon and I'm gonna be showing some of the footage that I took with uh, these two lenses. They are absolutely beautiful. They give me good image, especially for video. If you're taking pictures, then I would say maybe they're not the best. They can still do, you know, a, a decent job, but not the best for taking pictures. But for videos, they perform well. They give you a nice depth of field uh with the blurry background the pros they're nice beautiful and they give you a a good looking image the cons i would say of course it's a cheap lens so they're too tiny and too small sometimes you'll be uh it's gonna be hard to kind of you know reach the focus or uh the aperture ring uh but again you're paying only under a hundred dollars so personally i do not complain about these two lenses and I'm very very happy with them and I think I'll be recommending them to anyone looking into saving money and getting beautiful images and the third uh, category of lenses that I would say you may think of investing in it would be actually the kit lenses that come with uh, these cameras like the Lumix G7 or the Lumix G85 or any other camera and even Sony cameras, most of the time when they sell these cameras, they come with um, these uh, kit lenses. Most of the time people end up, let's say if I buy uh, a lens like this to use on my G7, I may end up not really needing this kind of lens. So I'll probably be selling it. And most of the time they will be cheap. So you may find this lens on eBay for like $50 or $100, okay? Again, this is a wide angle lens, maximum aperture of 3.5. So it's not gonna be super good for low light, you know, but it will still give you a good image, especially if you're looking for wide angle. So this will be another solution for you guys. But again, there's so many lens choices out there uh as i said at the beginning of this video uh, all you need to know know your mount and go browse uh and make sure you don't spend a lot of money because you need that cash to actually add an extra camera for your multi-camera live streaming or recordings so guys i hope this video helps uh, if you have questions, if you have different lenses or cheap lenses, especially if you're using vintage lenses in your church live streaming and you've been watching this video, please put it down in a comment. Uh, it would be um, great to actually be able to share with the whole community uh, if you have a lens that is working out for you. Uh, personally, I'll be investing more into vintage lenses and you know experimenting Hopefully, I'll be able to share my results. If you have gotten some good results using these kind of lenses, please put in the comment down below. Uh, you never know, it may help other people who are looking into buying cheap lenses uh, that can perform well for their church live streaming and recordings. Guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. If you got value from this video, consider subscribing because you don't want to miss my next videos as I'll be going through different cameras, lenses, uh, different softwares, tips and tools on how 
to build a nice uh, setup for your church live streaming and recordings. Again, I thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it and I will see you on my next video. Take care.